This video is brought to you by GearBest. Stay tuned for a special discount and offer at the end of the video. Hello and welcome back to Simple Tech Reviews. Last year we brought you a review of the newest 3G Android rearview mirror. And today we are following up with the Johnson A880 4G Android dual camera mirror for 2018. The 880 is a new Android rear view mirror DVR that comes with 4G connectivity for high speed mobile network connections, advanced driver assistance systems such as lane departure warning, lane departure, and four collision warning, attention forward vehicle remote connectivity and notifications through the mobile app, instant live video previews, real-time GPS navigation, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, a live two-way intercom, and a few other functions. Let's begin with the unboxing. First, we see the A880 mirror. Then, the backup camera and cable. The mini USB ladder power plug. The GPS antenna. A spare mini USB cable. The elastic mounting bands. A set of screws to install the backup camera. And a detailed startup guide. Having a closer look, on the front we have the large 7.86 IPS touchscreen with a resolution of 1280x400. On the back we see the speaker, the 1080p 140 degree adjustable front camera with a lens aperture of f2.0, the reset pinhole and ventilation grills. On top we have the slots for the GPS antenna, the micro SD card up to 32GB, the micro SIM card slot, the backup camera connection, and the mini USB power. And on the bottom, the single power button and the microphone. To install the mirror, first place it on top of your existing mirror and secure it with the included elastic bands. Connect the GPS cable to the mirror and tuck it through the headliner and side pillar to a suitable location. Then, also route the backup camera cable through the headliner all the way to the back of the vehicle and find the spot inside or outside the vehicle where you wish to place the camera. And if you like to take advantage of the optional automatic backup view, you will need to connect the loose red wire on the camera's cable to your white reversing bulb so that the mirror shows the rear view and grid lines when you shift into reverse. And finally, connect the USB power cable and run it through the headliner and side pillar and plug it into your cigarette lighter so that the mirror starts working when the ignition is turned on. Let's now dive into the interface and functions of the device. The A80 mirror runs Android 5.1 and has a 1.3 GHz MediaTek 6735 quad-core processor that make it perform tasks fast and without lag. It comes with the standard 1GB of RAM memory and 16GB of system storage to install any application from the Google Play Store. It also uses a low power standby mode when the car is off so that the security functions continue to work while the vehicle is parked as well as allowing it to instantly power on when you return to the car as soon as you turn the ignition on without having another long wait. Looking at the home screen, this time around, the mirror comes with a launcher that has three pages to access the necessary options. But before we look at the stock launcher, remember that you may also install and use any launcher you prefer from the Play Store. On the main screen, we can first see on the left the fixed space that shows you the vehicle speed and your current heading. This information is updated to the GPS satellite data. But note that the speed here can only be displayed in kilometers per hour and not miles. 
we then have the GPS navigation button. As a default, the mirror comes with Sidejig and Navitel as the default navigation apps, but you can install and use any app you prefer from the Play Store. Again, I am using Waze. Next, we see the driving video icon. Before going into the DVR, you may notice that there is a play or stop button right in the middle of the icon. This is a shortcut that allows you to quickly start or stop the video recording without opening the main DVR interface. Once inside the app, you will see a live preview of the front and back cameras which you can swap to any combination you desire. You can view the video file stored in the SD card and change the recorder options. Here, you can also see the advanced driver assistance systems at work. Attention forward vehicle. Going into the settings gear, you can change the recording interval, the front camera's resolution, display the GPS watermark, and activate the DVR float button. Using the float button will add an overlay icon which you can place anywhere on the screen. Tapping it once will open a small window that shows you the front camera's view. Tap it a second time and it will switch to the back camera. Double click it to return to the DVR settings and press the X to close it. This is a nice way of always having the front or back view displayed without having to go into the DVR. In the DVR settings, you can also change the advanced driver assistant options to decide which ones you want to use. Next, we can see the music icon. This is where you can play any music files you may have preloaded into the mirror or the SD card. Swiping to the next page, we have the apps icon that will show you all the applications you have installed on the mirror. Then there's the Bluetooth icon, and just like the driving video, the icon shows the easily accessible play and stop button shortcut to quickly turn Bluetooth on or off. Inside the app, you can pair your phone and sync your contacts to make hands-free calls. Next, we have the FM station which turns on the FM transmitter. Here, you can choose any radio frequency and tune into that station on your car stereo so that sounds from the mirror such as music and phone calls are played back on your stereo speakers for maximum quality. And last, on the third page, we have the mirror settings. Under the settings, you can change the mirror's volume, screen brightness, turn 4G and Wi-Fi data on or off, use the mirror's hotspot to share internet, change the DVR settings, activate the parking monitor, set the collision sensitivity, reset the mirror to factory defaults, update the software, and enter into the full Android settings. In the Android settings, you can use the Wi-Fi to connect to any available hotspot so you can use the mirror to download additional apps from the Play Store, browse the web, watch online videos, listen to online radio podcasts, etc. This is where you can also configure the mirror's 4G connection so that the device remains online when there is no Wi-Fi available. Simply insert a 4G data enabled micro SIM card and you are good to go. And most important, a 4G connection will allow real-time notifications to be sent to your mobile device when the mirror is in parking mode to let you know if the vehicle has been hit or if someone is driving it without your knowledge. And the last thing we will look at is the Car Assistant app that allows you to remotely monitor the mirror and receive the security notifications. To use it, you must install the Car Assist app on your mobile device. You can scan the following code or use the link in the description to get it. When you open the app, you will need to log in either using a WeChat or Facebook account. Once inside the app, you can remotely connect to the mirror in order to monitor the camera's and GPS location. While the mirror and your mobile device are connected to the same network, you can see a live preview of the front and back cameras. Take photos and record an instant 10 second video file that will be recorded to your phone by pressing the 10S video capture button. Pressing the DVR file button will allow you to access the video recordings on the mirror's SD card without having to touch anything or remove the device. This is great if you need to show video evidence on the spot. 
and under the me section you can see all the alarm notifications that have been sent to your phone clicking on each one will show you the date time and gps location of where it happened and if the mirror senses an impact with the parking monitor a picture of both cameras will also be sent to you in the notifications so you can review it and have the evidence you can see a full gps tracking history by date and have the app precisely show you on a map where your vehicle was driven and the speed it was traveling at. And when the mirror is not on Wi-Fi and connected to a separate mobile network, you can use the live preview option to see an instant live video and audio feed from the cameras. This will allow you to see and hear what is happening around your car in real time, even if your vehicle is turned off. And you can even use the mirror as an intercom by using the press to talk button on your phone. You will be able to talk back and forth with whomever is in your vehicle at the time, albeit with some delay. I see you're going by 21st, take the next left. In conclusion, the Johnson A880 is a big leap in improvements compared to older models of Android rearview mirrors. Not only are there many new, useful, and innovative features on it, but also having a better front camera system allows for a much improved video quality of the recorded video files. Its shortcomings are mainly with the rear camera that still record video at a low 480p resolution. And it could also have a wider angle for the back view which would make it even safer when backing up. But with its large 7.86 HD screen which make it easier to use and navigate, the driver assistance systems and 4G connectivity that allows for live and instant security monitoring, all this makes the A880 one of the most advanced Android mirror units that we have reviewed so far. If you'd like to check out the Johnson A880 mirror, please click on the link in the video description below. And as a special bonus, you can get an additional 18% off discount by using our special code CAR18OFF with your purchase. Thank you very much for watching and as always, if you like this video, please consider subscribing, commenting and sharing. Up next is a special offer from PureVPN followed by the video sample clips. I'll see you on the next review. In today's uncertain online world, it only makes sense that you protect yourself from prying cyber dangers. PureVPN provides a range of online privacy and security options for business or leisure. With a multitude of payment options and prices ranging from $1.95 a month, PureVPN's military-grade encryption will keep your online traffic completely safe. You can check them out using the link provided below.